Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I'm a Sage Certified Consultant at TAG, a premier Sage partner for construction software with a team of experts in construction accounting and software solutions. In today's video, I am going to discuss how and why you should use the cost to complete function in Sage 100 Contractor. So if you're ready, let's get started. Many contractors create a work in progress schedule on a monthly, quarterly, or biannual basis. This schedule is used for financial statement, bonding, and lending purposes, and can also be used as a powerful management tool. But to be able to get an accurate WIP schedule, you need to have accurate costs to complete. Sage 100 Contractor can provide you with these accurate costs to complete by using the cost to complete worksheet inside the software. The cost to complete worksheet relies on the accuracy of your job costs, so make sure that everything is up to date within Sage 100 Contractor. Confirm that all job costs are posted and you have entered any recent change orders before updating the worksheet. Inside Sage 100 Contractor, navigate to 6, Project Management, 8, Cost to Complete, 1, Cost to Complete. This will open the Cost to Complete window. Select the appropriate job that you want to update. Select Options and then Update. This allows Sage 100 Contractor to pull in the latest budget and cost information from the software. Sage 100 Contractor will also include unposted payroll in the cost to date calculation, so enter in a labor burden percentage if you would like that to be included as well. Now you have two options. You can either enter a percentage complete by cost code, or you can enter the total cost to complete by cost code. No matter which option you choose, the software will calculate the other option for you automatically. Select Options, then Calculate, and choose the appropriate calculation. Now you can see by cost code which items are over and or under budget. You can also print the information displayed if you choose. After completing all the cost to complete worksheets for ongoing projects, print out the associated reports. Next, run the over under billing report. You can do this by navigating to six, project management, one, job reports, and seven, over under billing report. I choose report number 31, which is the extended version of the over under billing report. Instead of printing this report, I export it to Excel. This way I can modify my total cost at completion to match the amounts I calculated in the 681 cost to complete worksheet. Now my WIP schedule reflects the most accurate information. If you would like to learn more about Sage 100 Contractor or any of the Sage Construction software products, schedule a demo, or get pricing, visit our website www.teamtag.net or email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for weekly Sage Construction software videos.